If you want to buy cheap FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, go and check out MMOPO.com and use the discount code EGHD for 8% off your order. Yes guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are looking at the new season. We're going to look at what players to pick. Um, for some reason they've called this Season 4 even though we have Season 1, 2, Christmas, New Year, which is 4, and then this one would be the 5th. So I don't understand how they've got to 4. But we're going to be looking at a new season and how to get the players as quickly as possible and which ones you should be picking. So as you can see guys, we've got 41 days and 23 hours remaining, which means that we've got 6 weeks to complete this. Not the 3 weeks, which I preferred a lot more. But the first one is going to be 1000 coins for 5 matches. This has been the same for level 1 of every season to my knowledge. And then we've got the Say No to Racism uh, Tifu and also Stadium stuff as well as a Jumbo Premium Pack. But on the first page, we have this, a Thierry Henry, Prime Thierry Henry for seven games. Um, last time we had Kaka, and then the time before that we had Zinedine Zidane. Obviously, this guy's stats are incredible. Four star, four star. I feel like he doesn't really fit into the better since he's got quite low balance. But of course, guys, if you unlock this player, you can use him to complete the objectives to get more XP, or you can actually use him in your Foot Champs games if you don't have a great team. This is going to help your team out massively. Now, on the second page, we have some more Say No to Racism stuff. Uh, we also have a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Then we some stadium themes, another pack as well, Jumbo Premium Gold 26 pack. And we also have uh, a choice to pick between two different icons. We have 90 rated Lampard, which looks pretty tasty, as well as a Gerard uh, for 12 games as well. You can use these players in uh, Foot Champs, which is a big bonus. So I really like what they're doing here by putting uh, different choices in halfway through the season or even on this in this stage, the second page of this season. Now personally, if you have a look at these two cards, I think that uh, Gerard is the better player um, if you are going at for out and out you know, performance. Um, he's got better defending, better pace and he just fits this game a little bit more. But guys, I recommend just picking a card that you really want to try if you haven't used them in FIFA. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. It's not like you're committed to using, using these cards for the rest of FIFA. They're only loads cards. Now on the third page we have the chomp celebration which is another annoying celebration but I think it's pretty cool and then we also have uh, different types of badges, eggs and toast and also gladiator, um, jumbo premium against 26 gold pack and also a small prime gold players pack and now we have a choice between three different players um, which look pretty decent as well. So so I'm going to start off by looking at El Shawe. This player is an absolute legend for any of you OG FIFA ultimate team players. This guy was a five star skiller and has been a five star skiller for a long time. Um, Problem is, he does have free star weak foot, and he also plays in the Chinese Super League right now. But his in-game stats are really good. His uh, dribbling's fantastic, 91 agility, 86 balance, and 89 dribbling. His finishing is pretty good, 85 finishing, and he has some re very good pace. Uh, he has some pretty decent strength as well. So in terms of chem styles, there's a few chem styles that you could use to make this card good. Um, but as I said, free star weak foot is a bit of a letdown. The next player, and this is a potentially a player that you can link with your Tommy Yasu from the last season, and also if you went for the League One. Um, player which is called Shoji, I think that's his name, uh, obviously a Japanese player, this could be a potential for your team. So he is basically a CDM because he has 82 defending, 3 star, 3 star, he's quite small um, but he's fast with good dribbling, good passing and yeah as I said could be a potential link for your Tomiyasu. His in-game stats are pretty decent, look at that, 90 balance, 94 agility and uh, but only 74 dribbling which is very low but as I said he is more of like your CDM or if you play like a 4-4-2 playing as a, a centre mid with 91 uh, stamina and 78 strength. He, he's got some very good stats, a very usable card, I don't know if he's, he was definitely not an end game player but it's definitely a, a card that you can enjoy um, if you do have a Tomiyasu um, players like that to kind of fit into a squad. And then finally we have this player here from League 1, um, 4 star, 4 star so immediately has the best uh, of the weak foot and skill moves. Um, 93 pace with 98 acceleration, so he's very fast off the mark. 91 agility, 90 balance, and 87 dribbling. 89 stamina as well, not very good strength, but he's also got 88 finishing. So this card is actually quite under the radar, and I feel like if you didn't get a Gelson Martins from League 1, then this could be potentially a great card for you. Nigerian, so he doesn't link to too many great players in FIFA, but if you're quite short sure of League One players, then this could be great to have as a first owner. For me, it's actually really tough to say which player to go for. I feel like these are all great opportunities to get players for your squad. Uh, El Sharaway is definitely the most fun um, and uh, more of like a flashback to previous FIFAs if you're an OG FIFA player. Yamaguchi is just obviously a cool player to have and could create some nice squad building links with uh, players that you might have had like Tomiyasu and Shoji. If you didn't get any of those players, then um, I'd definitely go for either Kalu 
or El Sharway. It's really down to you guys. I'm not going to push uh, in either way. I think these are all fun cards and none of them are really end game cards. Although if he's going for out and out performance and a player that is going to be the most useful for you, I reckon that Kalu is probably the most useful and um, is going to get you more wins easier if you're trying to do first owner challenges in Rivals. Now on the fourth page, we have Eggs and Toast again, uh, some stadium related stuff with a premium gold players pack, uh, a mega pack. We also have some badges as well. I think that's a Corgi as a dog. And we also have a rare Electrums player pack. So nothing really that exciting on this page in terms of players. But if we go to the next page, we also have some more stadium stuff and uh, also two more packs, Prime Gold Players Pack and Prime Gold, yeah, two Prime Gold Players Pack actually. And then another celebration as well, which uh, is pretty cool. The Flex Celebration is kind of similar to what the Balotelli uh, did as his celebration, except it kind of finishes in like a bodybuilder stance. So that's pretty cool. And then on the final page here, we have a Magma Ball. I'm not really interested in balls to be honest, because like obviously, you don't really want to use a ball that's not a, t a typical black and white ball or looks normal because it's really hard to play with on FIFA. But we do have a rare players pack, which is a 50k pack. We also have some more stadium related stuff. Some pretty, it, it does look pretty cool, but this is the problem with really long seasons. For, you know, we don't have anything new now for 42 days. There's a couple of nice, you know, icon picks and player picks, but there's too much stadium stuff. Um, but before I get into all that ranting and stuff, let's let's have a look at these players, guys. So we've got a Kanji. Brilliant player, 88 rated, uh, big, big player. Milinkovic Savic, so he has had some high rated cards in previous uh, FIFAs. So if you used it, if you used him before, if you've used uh, Milinkovic Savic in previous FIFAs, then you're probably going to be leaning towards picking up this guy, especially if you're short Serie A players. And then finally, we have an 88 rated Kovacic. I'm pretty sure Kovacic had a player card this year as like an SBC. Okay, so I'm actually getting confused here. He had a 92 rated card at the end of FIFA 19. That's why I'm getting confused. So. In terms of the actual cards, we've got Premier League, we've got Serie A, and we've got Bundesliga. Now, which leagues would you say you're weakest on? That's the first thing you've got to figure out for yourself. I think that there aren't that many amazing uh, options for centre-backs in the Bundesliga. Now, when it comes to Akanji himself, he's actually one of the better centre-backs from this league anyway. He also links to Mbabu, and he also links to Berkey as the goalkeeper. So, a lot of great links, opportunities, and also Borussia Dortmund can link to Royce. He can link to a lot of players, actually. Now, in-game, he is one of those centre-backs that has a little bit lower acceleration. It's not like an even split, so 74 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. Um, his balance and agility is not bad. Uh, his defending stats are obviously spectacular. So, Realistically, I think you would be putting a shadow on him to get the plus 15 uh, acceleration and plus 10 sprint speed, which will take him up to about 90 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. Now, the in-game stats of Milinkovic Savic, he's got 72 pace, um, pretty even split, 70 acceleration. His balance and agility is quite low, but his dribbling is very high. So at times, he's going to feel pretty good in terms of how he's feeling with the ball. His passing is fantastic, 90 vision and 90 short passing with 90 long passing as well. So over the top three balls will be quite effective with him. 84 finishing 87 shot power um, in terms of chem styles you're probably going to be putting something like an engine on him to boost the, how he feels on the ball so he's not going to be the fastest but he can play a centre mid role quite well and uh, what's his work rate so he's got high attacking work rates and medium defensive four star four star obviously a very good cards but it's, the, all these cards are good because it takes you 40 day, 42 days to get all of these cards the next one is premier league Kovacic so now Kovacic is in game stats 83 pace 92 dribbling and obviously four star four star which we can see there now in terms of his dribbling 88 agility 89 balance 92 dribbling 95 ball control 81 reactions and 86 composure a lot of acceleration there his finishing is terrible so this guy is a center mid more defensive with the ability to attack although that finishing stat is really low and I, I would have liked to have seen it up in the low to mid 70s as an absolute minimum. So I do feel like that is a bit of a hole in this guy's cards. You know, he's got pretty low strength as well, uh, but very high aggression. So in terms of winning the ball uh, from a defending standpoint, he's going to be pretty good at that. Although it says defending 84, he's got 89 interceptions and 87 defensive awareness and 90 standing tackle because he's got low um, heading accuracy that brings down his stat for defending. So in terms of his actual defending stats, it's probably actually high 80s, which is very good. But in terms of his shooting, it's going to feel probably like 70 so this card is actually quite deceiving on his face card stats 
Something we haven't mentioned, 90 vision and 95 short passing. The two most important stats when it comes to passing is those two. I feel like, you know, if you're doing a long shot, if you're, if you're finessing with him, uh, the shot power and the long shots will come into effect with also the curve factor of 84. So his shooting won't be dead awful, but there will be times when you go for a near post shot and it goes pretty much down the middle of the goal. Um, that's because the finishing is so low. Now, the question, guys, is which player should you be picking? As always, it is down to which players you have untradeable in your club. I don't know which players you've picked at this point of FIFA. Everyone's club's so different now at this point of the year. Now, as a blank statement, I think that Akanji is probably the player to go for, especially if you have an Mbabu. I think Milinkovic Savic is one of those players you use maybe in a weekend league once and you realize that his meta is just not good. But then again, you might not have many Serie A first owner players and you need them for future um, objectives for icon swaps and stuff like that. Also, something to note is he has an 85 rated card, which means that um, he's, the, he's the smallest upgrade out of all three of these players, whereas Akanji has an 83 and Kovacic has an 82. So these cards are a big upgrade, like, you know, three or four in forms away from their actual card it itself. Now, Kovacic is a great card. Um, his nationality isn't going to link with many players, um, but being from Premier League Chelsea, this could offer some good links in the future. So for me, it's a bit of a flip between Kovacic and Akanji, although I feel like, as I said right at the start, Bundesliga players, especially centre-backs, I feel are quite weak this year and having a kanji is going to help so much with that. So I feel like I recommend the majority of you guys to go for a kanji, but depending on your club status and what players you have and what links you could try to get in the future with your club, I would just, yeah, just go for whatever you need to. Now guys, we do have new objectives. I'm going to be covering this in a separate video, but we do have a Future Stars Academy Odegaard and uh, we have a lot of objectives to get here. Look how many we have to complete. So there's a lot of little objectives uh, compared to uh, more of the harder objectives from previous ones. So if you want to see this video, make sure you go over to the channel. I'll also put a little link, a little card up on the screen if you want to go and watch this. We also have another thing to stop people uh, relegating themselves so much. So this is going to make some people stay in Division 4 or above. Uh, basically, you get a rare players pack, which is a 50k pack, which is also tradable. So if just scoring in nine separate rivals, wins now guys what we have had is a release of all of the last icon swaps it seems and they've actually released eight online ones and four offline ones which is so much better i think there's too many offline ones uh, so it's going to be premier league ones win four rivals matches using seven first owner premier league players in your starting squad then we've got league one Serie A, bundesliga la liga then we've got five rivals matches using 11 French players, so that'll be good if you've done headliners player, you can finally use him. Win five rivals matches using 11 first owner players in your starting squad, so this could be a mixture of any players that you have. And then win 12 games in foot champions. I really like this. I think that the mixture of eight versus four is a good mixture. I still think that, you know, having single players should be in here. There are some people that don't even play online at all. They just come onto Ultimate Team to play a little bit of single player. So it's good that they have it in here. But I like the mixture of about two thirds of it being online and then a third of it being offline because not a lot of people enjoy playing single player, especially as there's glitches to, you know, start winning the game and then make it so that the players can't tackle you or come tackle you. And then guys, we have obviously week one, bronze, silver and gold. And it starts off pretty simple. Scoring three separate matches in any foot game modes, assist using a forwards in any foot game modes, apply a contract item to your manager. Really simple ones, play a squad battle match. You don't even need to win it. You don't even need to use specific specific team. It's very straightforward. Now to complete the Terry Henry one, we need to win two matches in any foot game mode with prime icon Henry and at least four French players in your starting squad. Assist the goal in two separate matches in any foot game mode with prime icon Henry at least five Premier League players in your starting squad and then score two finesse shots in any foot game mode using prime icon so you can do all of these in literally two games uh, very very easily so what you need to do is just basically build a Premier League squad try to put as many French players as possible in there and then just try to finesse shots with Thierry Henry and you're going to get 425 XP for those three challenges and then a bonus of 425 as well which is a total of I think if I've done my maths correctly 1700 XP so a little bit more than what we've seen with Kaka and Zindin Zidane and other previous related icon story stuff we've also got lampard story so score two volleys in any foot game modes with prime icon uh, lampard 
with at least five Premier League players, assist in two, uh, two matches, uh, and then four, four English players, and then win two matches and your foot game mode with Lampard as well, and four MLS players in your starting squad. So this one's gonna be more difficult to do. So basically what you need to do is build a Premier League squad with some MLS players, and then also try to make as many of them uh, English as possible. Again, you can do this in two games very straightforward. And the same goes for Gerrard as well five uh, Premier League players in the same squad with four English and then also four MLS players. Now, obviously, you can only pick one of these players out of the Icon Swaps loans. So you can go and buy this player off the market if you didn't get them complete or if you, you, know, if you picked one and not the other, then uh, you can go and buy the other version off the market. Although I think that it's a little bit um, a little bit too far, you know, just to complete about 1700 XP, which isn't going to get you that far in the season. Now for the milestones, guys, nothing has been updated um, and that's pretty much it. So, so guys, if you found this video useful, make sure you drop a like on the video. Let me know what you think of this current season, season four. Um, I personally do enjoy the shorter seasons. I know that they've put more stuff into this. We've got the choice of picking between two icons now and we've got three different cards to pick at 85 level. And then we've also got the big 88 rated player right at the end, which are better players than we've previously seen, but I'd rather have uh, twice the amount of season progress, um, you know, you know, in three weeks rather than one big one for six weeks because 100,000 XP, it's just going to get really boring. Once you get to about level 20 to 25, there's not really a lot to get um, until we get right to the end. So that's my personal opinion. As I said, guys, if you need help completing this Future Stars Odegaard, then what you can do is come over and watch my Road to Glory. I'm either streaming that or I'm uploading Road to Glory episodes. And I'm also going to do a specific video on how to complete this um, Future Stars Academy Odegaard very, very quickly. That's been enough of me talking, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye-bye.